Hi guys! Okay, so, everything's empty again. Part 2. Uh, this is going to be makeup and makeup remover type thing. I filmed this for you guys last week, edited it, and then when I opened it in a bigger screen, I realized I had red all over my teeth and I looked like a vampire and it was not pretty. So I decided, okay, that's going to be super distracting and let's refilm this. So this is part two of part two of empties. Let's start out with face wipes because I have a ton of them and you just use them up a lot faster than you use other things. So let's start with my least favorite and we'll move on to my favorite. This is the Nivea Gentle Cleansing Wipe. These were okay. They needed a lot of scrubbing to get your eye makeup off, which wasn't fantastic, but they left your skin feeling clean, so that's good. I love a lot of Nivea products, but this one was just like, yeah, I don't know if I'd buy it again. Bye bye <laughs> face wipes. So for my next face wipes, I have the Aveeno Ultra Calming uh, Sensitive Skin Face Wipes. These are great face wipes because they left your skin feeling a little moisturized after, which is really nice to have your skin feeling a little bit moisturized after. Uh, you didn't feel really gross after, which some of them make you feel really gross, uh, and that didn't happen with these ones, and it didn't need a ton of scrubbing, which was fantastic. I would definitely repurchase these again, but they weren't my all-time favorites. Bye-bye. Let's get on to the best one, which is the number seven face wipes. And they used to look like this, and now they look like this. Why number seven? Why did you get rid of the pretty blue packaging and put white? It's, they're not as fun. Um, so I have three of them because I like them that much. Uh, the best thing about them, and Avino has the same thing, is they have the open and close. They take up your um, makeup super fast, super easy. Uh, they leave your fins skin feeling really silky and soft. Uh, it's not like the great gross moisturizer feeling after where you're just like, ugh, I don't like this. Um, but they, they are fantastic. And these are all drugstore face wipes and yeah, good price and you can use them. Um, the best thing is these are great lazy girl products and I am a lazy girl. Uh, I keep face wipes by my bed because usually I forget to take my makeup off and you definitely have to take off your makeup before bed. Um, and I end up just wiping my makeup off while I'm watching late night TV. So, face wipes, number seven. Go back to the pretty blue, please, please number seven. So, the next product, which technically isn't makeup and makeup removing, but it's nail polish removing, is the Jo Fresh nail polish. Um, this thing is huge, like 350 milliliters for $4, yeah. And the liquid inside is purple, so it's fun to look at, and you always know how much you've used. Uh, it lasted me a credibly long time, and it was only $4, so yay Jo Fresh. Uh, like, you don't wanna be paying tens for your nail polish remover, unless it has something in it that I don't know about. Oh. On to some more facial cleansers, but different type. This is the Vichy Foam Cleanser, uh, and it's water to foam because it looks like water inside this bad boy, and then when you pump it up, it comes out as foam, and it's all fun and magical. You wipe it all over your face, and you take uh, a towel, and you just wipe it off, and you just feel fantastic after. Uh, this is the travel size version. The full version is way bigger, and I believe it's twenty dollars for the full version. But man, is this stuff amazing! My second face makeup remover thing is the Clinique Take Off the Day makeup remover. It is phenomenal. Um, you can take off your eye makeup with it, and like the, la the Vichy one, you can't take off your eye makeup with it. It's not suggested to use on your eyes, and this is just like. It's, it has oil in it and it just like wipes everything off. Just like, what? So this is a travel size version. Uh, you can get the bigger version at Sephora or the Bay. It is a fantastic makeup remover. Seriously, it takes no effort to take off your makeup with this bad boy. So for moisturizer, I have the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Relief. And thirst relief, sorry. Um, this stuff is amazing. My skin is super sensitive. 
um, so I can't have like a lot of like the creams it just like clogs my face up and my skin reacts funny it doesn't like it uh, so this is gel and it sucks because a lot of the awesome moisturizers out there that just look so phenomenal are creams but this stuff is awesome um, if you keep it in like room temp temperature to a little bit of a cooler area it stays like the gel stays cool inside and then you put it on your face and it just feels so calming and so wonderful and just like it feels like you just splashed water on your face and then it just stays like that it's, it's the bomb this is the bomb comes in a pink gel formula it looks pretty it feels fantastic and I love this stuff moving on to eyeliner I have two for you guys and the first one is from Smashbox and this is their uh, waterproof always sharp eyeliner line <laughs> uh, and this is in the color bear and I don't know what's up with the technology in the lid that keeps it always sharp it's so cool you never have to sharpen like it just saves you time um, for me I can't have the pencil uh, eyeliners because when you put it in your eye it just ends up giving me red frustrated eyes and my eyes are like I don't like this, I don't like this. So I always need a mechanical one, and the mechanical ones at the drugstore for the cream colors just aren't as fantastic. Um, they don't always have the color like that I'm exactly looking for. And this was this was great. It's a creamy formula. Um, you have to be careful though. If you put black in like your tight line and then you put the cream in the uh, bottom right away. Sometimes it comes out like muddy because the black will touch it and then it hasn't set. So just give the black a minute and then put the cream on. This is a fantastic eyeliner and it's super creamy and it, and the Smashbox ones blend really well. So for the holy grail of black liquid eyeliner, it is Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner. Um, it's waterproof. It literally stays all day. I rub my eyes all the time. I've been camping where I end up falling asleep and I wake up and I still have eyeliner on. That's how long this bad boy stays. And it is super black and super fantastic. And I recommend this to anyone who's looking for a liquid eyeliner. So, I have two concealers for you guys. One lies, it's not a concealer. It is a highlighter. This is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer slash really a highlighter. It does a terrible job concealing. Do not put this on any blemishes or red marks. But it does a great job highlighting your face. I usually put it here, triangles under my eyes, sometimes on my forehead, sometimes on the bridge of my nose. Um, this is a fantastic, especially winter pro uh, product, and now that it's coming up to winter, yay, I'll be repurchasing it again. And if you're looking for an affordable highlighter that's drugstore, I suggest this bad boy. My second concealer is my holy grail of concealers. This is the Fit Me Concealer, I believe by Maybelline. And I am in the shade Medium. This sucker covers up everything you want it to cover up. Um, for a drugstore concealer, yeah. This is, this is the holy grail of concealers. It has a sponge tip, so you can just draw it on wherever you need to. And I love it. So, for my last four items for you guys, they're all, you guessed it, mascaras. Um, I'm, this Clinique mascara is the Lash Doubling Mascara. It's a great daytime mascara. I don't know about Lash Doubling. That's a claim I don't think it lives up to. Um, but for if you are busy in the morning, you have kids, you're just always running late and you like to sleep in, and you want to throw mascara on that's not going to be like Vaboom in the daytime. This is a fantastic daytime mascara. It gives you a little bit of length, it gives you the black that you want, and it gives you a little bit of volume, but not really. Um, that's why it's a daytime mascara. This one is the Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. It is fantastic. Um, it's got a lot of volume if that's what you're into. Uh, one day I went for ice cream, and the girl behind the counter had the biggest baddest lashes I've ever seen and I was like what are you wearing and she's like bad gal and I was like what and so it took me a while to go buy it and then I never regretted it it's got a big fluffy brush 
and your lashes just look amazing. It's not going to give you the super defined lashes if that's what you're into. Do telescopic. Um, but I have a whole mascara view video that if you want to see what a ton of mascaras look like on someone's eyes because you're kind of nervous about buying mascara and if you don't know what it looks like, I will link my mascara video down below and you should go check it out. Sorry, my shirt just does not want to stay down. I don't know what it's about. It just keeps trying to go over my shoulders and I'm like, I'm not ready to take off my shirt yet. There's still all day going on. Okay, the third mascara is the Benefit They're Real. It's a fantastic mascara. And excuse my nails, I was very imp impatient when I was putting it on. When I was putting it on. Um, so the wand is really cool. It's got like a ball at the end. It helps you get into like the inner corner or like helps you separate any lashes that um, are trying to stick together and you're like, hey, no, I don't want one big super lash. That looks weird. Uh, the bristles are also really tough. So you have to be careful when you're putting it on because sometimes it can hurt if you're not careful. But this mascara is great. Um, but it's not the best mascara. This is the best mascara. Um, if you're into volume, if you're into kind of the messy look of your lashes, where they're not like, like they look more like, I have black lashes and they're voluminous and they're beautiful. Uh, this is what you want. This is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. It is the worst name for mascara. I don't understand what they were thinking in their marketing meeting, but it is the best mascara I've ever used in my life and I'm a mascara junkie. Uh, the wand kind of looks like a curvaceous lady. And the bristles are just all over the place, and they're soft bristles, and they just like coat all of your lashes. And yeah, I repurchased the big tube of it, and I love it. So, you need this in your life. Alright, so that's all the empties I have for you. I know, short, right? Yeah. Um, the problem was, between last week when I first filmed it, and this week, I found three more empties I used up in that week, so then my video grew to be a little bit longer, but oh well, then I get to show you guys more. Anyways, so I hope you enjoy, and I hope you found some products that maybe you would be interested in buying, and if you have any products that you think that I need in my life, put them down below, because I'll definitely go out and try them, because I love trying new products. Anyways, have a fantastic day everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!